All right, folks, welcome back to the Red Dead Redemption 2. As far as we know, we're still in the chapter 2. And that's okay, we're going to see Abigail. And we, after we make it, after we finish with Abigail, we're going to see John Marston. Who's there? Why do you kill Lenny? Let's see what does Abigail want. Bill. Hello, Jose. Before you come any closer, I hear you I saved Mr. Bell, Bell from a hanging. <laughs> come here a minute. I'm sorry. Well, I suppose what is do it? the same for you. Exactly. Can I ask you a man. favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's <laughs> Yeah, useless. I know. I know, John. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Jack and Cam. Hello there, Jack. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You coming, Jackie boy? All right, hold on tight. So, where are we going? We're gonna see. Just down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yeah, I like yes, the snow too, so like it's on. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. I'm sorry to this one. All right. I'm certainly disappointed to drag, but... The access, to, the access there is forbidden for me, so you should ask your father because he's the only one who had the access there. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. Now first, we need some bait. Are you okay there, Uncle? Hey, why cheese? I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Okay, the fishing. Use your wrist, not your elbow. 
Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! There! Got him! Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, it seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Okay, there you go, fish. Look, jump. Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give him a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. You just don't get too far. You see that cast, Jack? Got one, Jack. Okay, we're starting to get this the most boring thing in the universe. This is a base. This one's a rock bass. Rock bass? No, I don't like rock bass. I'm more into jazz or a funk bass. Yeah, it is. I know. Born as hell. I'm glad that everyone. Dan, something happened. I'm glad that everyone shares mine. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. Okay, this is another kill. Okay. Hey, look so. at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Hello? Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross. Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. Public enemy number one. $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite I don't Granite know nothing Pass. about it. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen, 
This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent Till. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not playing the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy the society, thing, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your yeah, things and get home. Just, but it is best to get home. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Okay, boy. Okie dokie. Pen and smoky. Because I don't want him to catch him. Because, well, we want them to catch him. Because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in I jail? Don't know. Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. Can you read in the camp? Is this the mission pass? There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. It was a little bit boring, but it was okay. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, yeah. um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. Damn. And they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective yeah, Agency. Yeah. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? Huh. Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. Them mountains. We just need to stay calm. Okay, we will stay calm. Sooner or later. The sheriff man. Examine to 20 seconds. Catch a fish with my right? okay. Now the thing is that Rockstar, when they when when they measure time, Rockstar measure the time only watching cutscenes. If you want the perfect time, you shouldn't watch cutscenes. Okay, so let's meet you guys back at the... Okay. 
We're going to do Albert Mason later, no, let's do John Marston. We'll see you guys when they reach John Marston. Okay, I can find out if I'm Let's rest, maybe this mission is supposed to happen at night. Yeah, it was supposed to happen at night. Why are you shooting, guys? What's happening? Shit. <coughs> 24, 24. Ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? 
Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Did you really want me to take a shot? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need comments. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. Fair enough. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. I said nothing. Ah, me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Idiot. Hey. All the horses untethered? I think so. Okay, good. play session, uh, we'll uh, a play session, uh, we'll find a good spot, a play session, uh, a play session, you have to worry about, uh, yeah. stamina. Follow the trail southwest. The wagon can't take this. There's a spot that's remote, but she can still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Slow down! Apparently, picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Difficult Scottish man. Scottish man guard. Bear left here, towards roads. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. What my folks say? Eh? Go easy on them horses, will you? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick. I'm fondling that new scar. Think you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's yeah, obsessive. shut up, Sean. Oh, so still loves you, some the loves you, the you old bastards have forgotten how to live. Stop and stop it. I don't care what that is. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die. They need to die. Uh, I, have, I have a feeling something bad will happen. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, Order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Do you want to be doing, Doctor? Here she comes. Here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you out. She's a man either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here she comes. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! 
Give us some money, Baldy. Sean. What is it? You all right? For the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Twice a chance of hitting someone. Okay, let's rob it. <laughs> Very funny. Some decent stuff. Oh. Oh. Gonna have a right out loop on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We'll take that. Come on, we should get out of here. We're not getting out. All right, we should probably be going now. These folks are rich, all right. Okay, let's search you. Take Looking good in here. Okay, we have a cigarette. Then we can take him uh, and carry and carry him on a cigarette. Arthur, we got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. 
How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? Hello, man. Okay, we're trying to the police. You said you men come out we now. The police. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way, neither you okay, get killed. Okay, how do you got balls? Eh? There's a few more than torn enough. Oh, shit. Man, my big mouth. Yeah, okay. sometimes it just murdered the shadow. Last chance. Drop the pedal. You killed on the left. Here from the friends. Oh, 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 coming through the trees. You see him? Hold back in the horse. Escape the lock. Let's go. Stay with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we want to. I fought the law, but I fought the law and Whoa. Whoa, lost. Whoa! Ho -ho. <laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but. I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Waiting for turn number four. Go, go. Hold up. 